हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास हाउ टू लर्न इंटीग्रेशन चैप्टर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज फॉर द स्टूडेंट दोज हु वॉन्ट टू लर्न इंटीग्रेशन चैप्टर दे आर नॉट एट स्टार्टेड लर्निंग इंटीग्रेशन चैप्टर दे वॉन्ट टू लर्न इंटीग्रेशन चैप्टर फॉर दैम हाउ टू लर्न इंटीग्रेशन इन यूर क्लास इंटीग्रेशन चैप्टर इज ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड After completion of integration chapter you ended up with a question mark face what is this chapter why this chapter is this much difficult i cannot do this chapter if you are feeling like that then this video is for you if you already learn integration chapter then in this video i'll clearly explain what things you learn in this integration chapter in what way if you learn this chapter is easy why the students feel integration chapter is difficult because if this is a very lengthy chapter total 11 exercises are there and number of problems are more trigonometry formulas derivative formulas we use very frequently in this chapter that is also one reason some of the students feel integration chapter is difficult right so how to learn integration chapter in integration chapter mainly two topics are there one is indefinite integration another one is definite integration in this integration mainly two types of integrations are there one is indefinite integration look here indefinite integration in ncert test book exercise number 7.1 to 7.7 whatever the problems are there they are all comes under indefinite integration and second part is definite integration in ncert test book exercise number 7.8 to 7.11 whatever the problems are there they all comes under definite integration to learn this chapter differentiation knowledge is compulsory without differentiation chapter if you try to learn integration chapter definitely you will feel that this chapter is difficult so differentiation chapter knowledge is compulsory before going to learn this chapter you must be good in three things what is the first thing <laughs> you need to know trigonometry formulas at least basic trigonometry formulas knowledge you must have like a uh, compound angle formula sin a plus b cos a plus b formula sin 2x cos 2x tan 2x basic trigonometry formulas knowledge you need because we use trigonometry formulas very frequently while learning this chapter first point trigonometry formulas knowledge is needed don't worry uh, whatever the course i created on integration chapter on that first video is all about learning trigonometry formulas only okay second one is derivative formulas derivative formulas compulsory needed because integration is nothing but anti differentiation so derivative formulas you must learn in the beginning of integration chapter you will learn around 15 to 16 in this complete integration chapter you will get around 30 formulas so integration formulas knowledge is needed so what are the course i created in that first three videos are these only in first video i explain all the trigonometry formulas second video i explain what are the derivative formulas how to learn derivative formulas what are the tricks for derivative formulas in third one i explain all integration formulas in the first video you see in my course uh, it will be there uh, learn all integration formulas right so before starting integration chapter you must be good in these things you spend some time instead of struggling later in integration chapter you spend 1 hour 2 hour maximum 2 hours in 2 hours you can learn all these formulas that my guarantee in 2 hours you can learn all these integration formulas no doubt in that just thing is you need to sit and study that's it right so spend 2 hours time and you learn all these things these are very very useful while learning integration chapter okay i said na total two types of integration are there one is indefinite integration another one is definite integration you forget about definite integration if you are thorough in this indefinite integration if you learn in this uh, first seven exercises in integration chapter if you learn first seven exercises if you felt that this in, uh, this first seven exercises are very easy then 100% i can say that you won't feel definite integration is difficult in indefinite integration also total seven models are there whatever the course i created uh, for that course total seven models are there right in that seven models first four models if you are perfect in first four models 
then this integration chapter you consider that it is very easy to you what are those first four models a uh, model wise i'll discuss in this video in model one what type of problems are there what type of problems you need to learn all those things i am going to discuss now this indefinite integration again we can divide into two types like basic integration types of integration in basic integration four models are there these four models are very very important if you are thorough in these four models 100% I can guarantee that you will say that integration chapter is easy. Okay, so uh, I'll explain clearly what things are there in these four models. Whatever course I created in that also, I did all the problems model wise. What is model one? In this model one, basic integration problems like you know this formula integral of a power x dx. What is integral of a power x dx formula? a power x divided by log a base c e plus c. Na. So how we use this formula while doing problems? Suppose integral of 2 power x dx is what? Right? Basic, basic. Whatever the formulas you learn in integration chapter, those formulas how we use. For example, you learn this formula integral of x power n dx. Integral of x power n dx formula is what? x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. Right. So integral of x power 5 dx, how to integrate? Very basic integration I am saying x power 5 plus 1 divided by 5 plus 1, x power 6 divided by 6 plus c. Okay. So in model 1, we will learn very basic problems. What a, uh, Before starting basic integration only, you will learn all integration formulas. What are course I created in that uh, first video is about learn all integration formulas. What are the formulas you learn? how we apply those formulas while doing the problems. Uh, so for example, basic formulas are there like integral of k into f of x dx is k into integral of f of x dx. This is the basic formula in integration. So while uh, doing this integral of 2 into x square dx is there. How to integrate this? We will take 2 outside integral of x square dx. Like these things we will learn in model number one is what? What are the formulas you learn? How to apply those formulas? We learn in model number one. Okay. Model number two. In all the formulas, in place of x, if ax plus b is present, then how to integrate? For example, you learn this integral of cos x dx equal to sin x plus c. This is the formula you will learn. By using this formula, how to calculate integral of cos 2x plus 3 dx? In place of x, you observe ax plus b is there. How to integrate this? Right? Integral of cos 5x dx. How to integrate this? All these things we will learn in model number 2. See, you know this formula. Integral of e power x dx equal to e power x plus c. Integral of e power 5x plus 4 dx is what? So all such type of things we will learn in model number two. I hope you are understanding, right? I am saying that if you are good in first four models, if you are good in first four models, this integration is very easy. But you spend some time, you give your time to learn these things without learning first four models. If you go to the fifth model, sixth model, definitely you will feel integration chapter is difficult. Model number three, very, very important, very lengthy also model number three. In model number three, we will learn integration by substitution. Many students confuse in this model only. And they'll, some students, they'll stop learning integration chapter after this model, after this uh, third exercise, I think, in NCRT test book, right? But I did the problems formula wise. I divided the problems. You please check once my videos. You will never say that integration by substitution model is difficult, right? Uh, in this, total four types are there. In model number three, total four types are there. Okay, type one. What is type one? When given integral is of the form integral of f dash of x by f of x dx, then how to integrate that problem, right? Type two, type two integral of f of x whole power n into f dash of x dx. 
when given integral is of this form how to integrate it third type integral of f dash of x divided by root f of x dx when given integral is of this form how to integrate for every type i did separate video whatever the video i did on this model type 1 is exclusively one video for that type 2 one video for that type 3 one video for that after that if the problem cannot be solved by using these three formulas then actual integration by substitution how to use integration by substitution that is fourth type that is fourth type model number three is very very important you spend your quality time to learn this model number three right without learning model number three you please don't go to model number four model number three is about integration by substitution what are the things you are going to learn in model number four see uh, integral of integral of sin x dx you know this formula this series of problems i am just writing here integral of cos x dx integral of tan x dx Integ like that all six you already know these six formulas just i given this as a problems also and uh, to get the order to get the order model number four next uh, integral of sin square x dx integral of cos square x dx integral of tan square x dx integral of cot square x dx integral of cosecant square x dx those things next integral of sin cube x dx all these problems i kept at model number four right integral of cos cube x dx integral of tan cube x dx integral of sin power 4x dx integral of cos power 4x dx integral of uh, tan power 4x dx all this type of problems not only this after doing integral of sin square x dx how to integrate this integral of sin square 4x plus 3 dx see i model wise you see by seeing these things only you can say model wise only we did these problems right so these are the things we are going to learn in model number four see once you completed model one model two model three model four I can guarantee that if you felt that these four models are easy, I can guarantee that you will never say this integration chapter is difficult. Okay. So uh, as per NCRT, up to model number four means we completed first three exercises, right? First three exercises of NCRT problems are completed. Now you can take a NCRT test book and you can pick any problem from first three exercises. You are ready to do those problems. Okay. This is basic integration. Next. Uh, types of integration after basic integration we learn types of integration in this types of integration first we will learn integrals of particular types of functions actually uh, in this nine theorems are there we will derive those nine theorems right for example the problems will be like this integral of 1 divided by a square minus x square dx we will derive this result and we will use it as a formula and integral of 1 divided by root over a square minus x square dx. We will derive this result and in exercise number 7.7, .7, exercise number 7.4 some interlink is there. So I did those problems are also in this model only. This is model number 5. Integral of root over a square minus x square dx is what? Like this total 9 theorems are there. First we will derive all these 9 theorems and we will do the problems based on these nine theorems right so so what is model 5 model 5 is integral of particular type of functions this model 5 is also very very important because uh, whatever whatever we will learn in model number 5 this from now onwards we are going to use until this chapter is over see we will use this first to four models plus this model also model 5 is very very important you must be good in model 5 because we frequently use these formulas whatever the nine formulas you will learn in this model number 5 these formulas we use very very frequently throughout this chapter okay so model number 5 is what integral of particular type of functions okay next one is model number 6 is integration by parts 
uh, many students they feel this chap this exercise is easy only right you learn this is just like uh, uh, product rule in differentiation you learn product rule in differentiation uh, this integration by parts also just like uh, product rule in integration right so model number 6 is integration by parts right and i given uh, some some of the students feel difficult to memorize this integration by parts formula i given very easy method in this please uh, check that course right that course link is there in the description model number 7 what is model number 7 this is uh, integration by using partial fractions how to integrate given function by using partial fractions many students feel this exercise is difficult right in this also in this also i divided the problems type wise total four types are there uh, first type is in this total four types are there first type is uh, when given function is a proper rational function and denominator contains non-repeated linear factors like that if you check that video you will come to know right so model number seven is integration by using partial fractions many students feel difficult in this exercise but as we are doing all the problems order wise model wise you won't feel difficult that is my guarantee okay so once once you completed first seven models you consider that if you are good in these seven models first seven models you consider that this integration chapter is almost all over right so uh, first seven models is all about indefinite integration now definite integration you just suppose that this model number eight is just a revision of these all models right uh, if you see those videos you will come to know suppose integral of x dx is x square by 2 plus c integral of 0 to 1 x dx is there in that case how we will calculate that we will learn in model number 8 model number 9 in model number 9 we will learn properties of definite integrals these are important around uh, uh, 8 properties are there you must be thorough in these 8 properties we use these 8 properties as formulas in this model number 9 we will learn properties of definite integrals uh, we will derive all the results and we use those results as formulas last one model number 10 in model number 9 whatever the properties we learn how to apply those properties these things we will learn in model number 10 so all problems of model number 10 are nothing but uh, exercise number 7.11 solutions in integration chapter so if you learn integration chapter model wise like this then you will never say that this integration chapter is difficult see i created a course in that course around 30 videos are there each video length is one hour around 30 hours of the course it is i am giving it to you for the price of rupees just 99 okay so you you just try to understand for a lecturer to create a course of 30 hours how much efforts is needed so for that the price is rupees 99 99 rupees is very affordable price my main intention is everyone must feel this integration chapter is easy if you want to learn this integration chapter go to play store download the app br max class and search for the integration chapter if you want to learn other chapters other chapters uh, courses are also there you please check my app once i hope i given detailed information about integration chapter be confident you can learn integration chapter integration chapter is many students feel difficult but if you learn in a systematic way this integration chapter is not so difficult you can learn it easily if you like this video please drop a like and share it with your friends in case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now thanks for watching take care bye bye